124 steps lead to the top of the Calf Parish Church's steeple. The tower clock strikes every quarter hour. The bells are an essential part of the tower clock, and an incredible amount of knowledge has been handed down through the generations. Like anywhere else, we use materials that harmonize, and that's a company secret. The clock overlooks the town from a height of 60 meters. It's definitely something we carry in our hearts. It's part of our hometown. My grandfather used to climb up there every day to wind it. In a way, it's our treasure. The Black Forest is famous for its clocks. The new clock faces are precision copies of old ones. The Tower Clock Factory has 30 employees. They have to be mechanics, technicians, fitters and blacksmiths in one. This shop still makes the hammer mechanisms much like it did over a century ago. The hammers are what ring the bells. Some of the tasks are now done by machines, but most of the work is still done by hand. The workers of the tower clock factory need a fine sense for the fonts, colours and the precision involved. Nothing is prefabricated. There's always something different, some new challenge. I was originally an automotive painter, and this here is very different from a car. Christophe Perrot exports a third of his family business's products abroad. One was the world's largest tower clock, the Mecca Royal Clock Hotel Tower, 400 meters above ground. Our company is always taking on special projects, and anything we've never done before is a challenge for us. There's nothing that would make us say, we can't do that. We sit down together and brainstorm, and then we go ahead and do it. One challenge was a clock that runs backwards, and another with several faces as an art object. The clock faces and hands get their finishing touches in the workshop, it can take four to ten weeks to complete one clock, depending on the size. These gilded hands still need polishing. No machine can take on this task. Just a little too much pressure would scrape the gold off. One clock with all the inner workings can cost up to 40,000 euros. This face is a relatively small black and white one. What's unique about it is that it had to be reconstructed from very old photographs for a restoration project. The face is going to Sarona, Tel Aviv. The original had been designed by the company founder in 1877. The new one will give Israel back a piece of its history.